Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I am going to talk in details about the side effects caused by Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, which is known as Covishield, the Indian version, and Vaxavia, the European version. I am going to cover the common side effects as well as the rare ones. And later in this video, I will make a comparison of the side effects between Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine and the mRNA vaccine, Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna. So stay with me until the end. Let's start with the side effects of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. The most common side effects which occur in 10% of the population that is 1 in 10 people experience feeling tired, tenderness, bruising, pain or itching in the arm where the vaccine is injected, headache, muscle pain, joint pain, nausea, fever. 1% that is 1 in 100 people might experience redness or swelling where you had the injection, diarrhea, vomiting, pain in hand and feet, lack of energy, low platelet count. Rare side effects which occur in 0.1% that is 1 in 1000 people might experience reduced appetite, dizziness, sleepiness, sweating, swollen lymph gland, rash, lethargy, itchy skin or hives, abnormal pain. Very rare side effects of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine are blood clots with low platelet count, capillary leak syndrome and gullion barr syndrome. Let's see what are the signs and symptoms of these rare side effects. In case of blood clot, the risk is higher in the younger generation compared to the older generation. 1 in 50,000 develop blood clots in people aged between 18 to 49 and 1 in 100,000 develop blood clots above 50 years of age. With the numbers, you can understand that this is a very rare phenomenon. 1 in 5 people who develop this symptom die. We must know the signs and symptoms in order to seek medical help when necessary. Breathlessness, pain in the chest or stomach, swelling or coldness in the leg, severe or worsening headache, blurred vision, confusion, seizures, Persistent bleeding under the skin where there is no injury, multiple bruises, reddish or purplish spot or blood blister under the skin. The condition is referred to as thrombosis with thrombocytopenia. I have a full length video on probable reasons for blood clot with Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. I will provide the link in the description. However, you should remember that the risk is very very low and talk to your doctor if you have history of blood clot before taking the jab. Most people develop these side effects within 14 days of getting the vaccine. However, it can develop between 4 to 42 days. Blood clot with COVID-19 is also very common. It happens mostly in the people who are hospitalized with COVID-19 and it was found that 30% of the patients who are admitted to ICU for COVID-19 experience blood clot and this blood clot occurs in all age group. With AstraZeneca vaccine, chances are very very rare. The other side effect is capillary leak syndrome. Capillary leak syndrome is rare but can be serious and even fatal. As the name suggests, there is fluid leakage from the small blood vessels. Symptoms to look for are rapid or swelling of your arms or legs, sudden weight gain, feel faint due to low blood pressure. Seek medical help if you develop these symptoms within few days after vaccination. If you have previously experienced capillary leak syndrome, then you should not take this vaccine. There are reports of capillary leak syndrome with COVID-19 as well. The other rare side effect is gullion barr syndrome or GBS. It is a rare but serious condition that affects the nerve. Signs and symptoms to look for are pain, muscle weakness progressing to paralysis in most severe cases, double vision or difficulty in moving the eye, difficulty in swallowing, speaking or chewing, coordination problems and unsteadiness, difficulty in walking, tingling sensation in the hands and feet, weakness in the arms, legs, chest or face, problems with bladder control and bowel movement. Most people fully recover from this disorder. Symptoms can start between 3 to 25 days after vaccination. Seek medical attention right away if you have any of these symptoms after you get vaccinated. Getting gullion barr syndrome is very rare after vaccination and a recent study from UK found that 38 out of 10 million people can develop this after vaccination. Serious allergic reaction is very rare after AstraZeneca vaccine. 
However, if you are allergic to the ingredients, then you should not take the jab. So now you have the details about the side effects of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. The bottom line is you must take a jab. If you have these histories, consult with your doctor to know which vaccine is best for you. As I said before, let me do a comparison between side effects of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine with the mRNA vaccine. The article I am referring to is not peer reviewed yet. First, let's see the percentage of people get the side effects with these two types of vaccine. The X and Y axis represent percentage of people experiencing side effects. Y axis represents first dose and X axis represents second dose. For example, if we get a dot here which says vomiting, then 55% of the subjects have vomiting after the first dose and 5% of the subjects have vomiting after the second dose. If it is yellow, then it means Oxford AstraZeneca. If it is blue, then it means Pfizer BioNTech. If it is red, then it means Moderna. So if we get a red dot here, it means 40% had that particular symptom after second dose and 20% had that particular symptom after the first dose after taking Moderna vaccine because the dot is red. Hope you can read the graph now. Let's add the colored dot and then see the percentage of each side effect. In case of fatigue with yellow dot that is with Oxford AstraZeneca, 60% developed fatigue after first dose and 40% developed fatigue after second dose. For Pfizer, it was 47 after first dose and 60% after second dose. For Moderna, it was 37 after first dose and 65% after second dose. In case of headache, for AstraZeneca, it was 56% for first dose, 35% for second dose. For Pfizer, it was 42 and 55 for first and second dose. For Moderna, it was 33 and 60 for first and second dose respectively. And similarly, you can look for muscle pain, chills, joint pain, fever in this graph. If you notice, all the yellow dots are on one side and all the blue and red dots are on the other side. It means that with AstraZeneca, that is yellow dots, most of the symptoms developed after first dose, while for mRNA vaccine, most of the symptoms developed after second dose. Now let's see how the side effects appear with age group between these vaccines. The x-axis represents the vaccine which can be AstraZeneca written as AZ, Pfizer-BioNTech written as BNT and Moderna written as MOD. The y-axis represents percentage of people having the side effect. Taller the bar means more percentage of people had that particular side effect. Blue bar represents middle aged people and green bar represents old age people. In case of joint pain you can see the younger people or the middle aged people had more joint pain compared to the old people. And in both cases Moderna gave maximum joint pain compared to the other two vaccines. For chills also, the middle aged people had more chills compared to the old age and Moderna gave more chills compared to the other two vaccines. Similarly, the percentage of side effects for the others as follows. As you can see that the middle aged people had more side effects than the old people in all cases. So comparing the three vaccines, we can conclude that the Oxford AstraZeneca gave more side effects after the first dose and mRNA vaccines gave more side effect after the second dose. The number of adverse events from the first AstraZeneca dose corresponds to the number of adverse events observed with the second mRNA dose. Vice versa, the number of adverse events from the second AstraZeneca dose was similar to the number of adverse events from the first mRNA dose. And thirdly, middle-aged people had more side effects than the older population. That's it for today guys. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.